Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back. I'm Jill, your English coach. So we have this tense um, that we use in when we are talking about things that happen in the past, something we used to do for a period of time. So I like these little charts and lots of our grammar books use them. So we've got the, uh, the future on this side, on the right, we've got now, and then we have the past. So when we use used to, it's something that we used to do and we don't do anymore. So we used to, we use used to, to describe past habits, right? And situations that no longer happen anymore. Okay. For example, we used to, we used to live in South America. We used to, and I used to drive a truck. I used to drive a truck. Let's make um, our formula for this tense, okay? So we've got um, a subject, okay? We have used to, it's used to. Most of the time you will not hear that D pronounced, you'll just hear used to, used to. Plus the base form of the verb. Subject, we've got used to, and then base form of the verb. So we've got one, two, three components. We've got one, two, three components here, okay? We do not change. We just use the base form of that verb, the base form, meaning there's no D here. It's not irregular. This, this um, tense, I think, is really easy. You don't have to memorize irregular forms of the verb or anything like that. It's just really simple, okay? The better thing to kind of focus on with this tense is getting comfortable knowing when we use this tense, okay? When do we use it, okay? So again, we use it when there's, for example, maybe you used to smoke cigarettes, right? Uh, when I was younger, I used to smoke cigarettes, and it means now I don't do it anymore. I used to, not now. I used to, okay? So all of these situations or these examples means it doesn't happen anymore, okay? So we've got, I used to be a swimmer. I used to be a swimmer. You used to like to swim. You used to like to swim. Okay, she used to babysit my children. She used to babysit my children. We used to have a boat. We used to have a boat. They used to work together, okay? So this should be pretty easy. Before we go on, let's practice this. So we let's make these sentences here. I used to be a swimmer. Let's make those negative, okay? Let's see what happens. I used to be a swimmer, okay? We're gonna change that to negative. I didn't used to be a swimmer, okay? So we're just simply putting didn't in there, okay? You didn't used to be a swimmer. Um, she used to babysit. She didn't used to babysit my children. She didn't. So it's simply just putting the word didn't in front of used to, okay? So here's used to. We're putting didn't in the middle, not in the middle, in front of, in front of the words used to. She didn't used to babysit. What does that mean, you guys? What does babysit? Right? If somebody watches your children for you and you pay them, we call that babysitting, right? It's like a nanny. Some people call it a nanny. But um, if it's just something that happens when you say babysit, or nanny. Nanny is like somebody who is like a full-time person for your child at, that usually comes into your home, okay? Um, so the nanny usually comes to your house and watches your children for the day. A babysitter is like maybe once in a while or, or just comes maybe every Friday or something like in the evening. So you and your partner can have dinner or something. I don't know. <laughs> or you have a date or a plan or something. Okay. We used to have a boat. Okay. We 
didn't used to have a boat, okay? And the final one, they used to work together. They used to work together. They didn't used to work together, okay? All right, so there's our negative sentences. I didn't used to be a swimmer. You didn't used to be, you didn't used to, oh, like to swim. You didn't used to like, not be, like to swim. Um, she didn't used to babysit my children. We didn't used to have a boat. And lastly, they didn't used to work. Sorry, my, when it gets down here, I just, it's more and more difficult to write. <laughs> it didn't used to, okay? Um, da, da, da. Okay. Okay, super simple, easy to use, and kind of fun. This is the last one. We didn't do this on the board, but it is worth going over. So you can also use the uh, would in the base form of the verb for repeated activities that no longer happen in the present, okay? So you could say, uh, when I was a teacher, I would go, when I was a teenager, I would go to the mall every Saturday afternoon, or I could, you could say, I used to go, okay? We don't use would for past situations, use used to. When we reminisce or we tell stories about the past, we often begin with used to and then continue with would. So. That's just a nice usage point there. Like you could say, gosh, when I was younger, I used to live in near a lake and we would um, ride our bikes every day and we would go fishing, right? So that's what they're talking about here. So you usually, if you're talking about something in the past that used to happen, you can start with used to and then continue with ride. That's a really nice kind of suggestion. Let's take a look at this part here. This is a tourist email in this book and it says, read the email and underline the expressions that refer to past habits and situations that are no longer true, okay? No longer means now, no, it's not true. Every time I return here, I'm absolutely amazed at all of the changes. Today, I did some typical tourist things. First, I went to the top of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. As I'm sure you know, our CN Tower back home in Canada used to be the tallest. Oh, well, things change. Today, from the observation deck, I had a bird's eye view of the city. It's hard to believe that Dubai used to be just a small town. The transformation is really amazing. This afternoon, I walked around for hours. I also visited one of the Palm Islands. They are islands built in the early 2000s in the Persian Gulf. They are artificial, but the builders used only natural sand and rock. So they kind of tried to trick us a little bit there. They, they've got used, but they're, it's not used to, okay? Uh, by the way, let's see, amazing. As you can see from the photo, by the way, I used that new travel app on my smartphone. Thanks for telling me about it. Uh, it was really helpful, especially the maps. I used to get lost a lot. I used to get lost a lot, so. So we saw used here and another one um, right there, but those are not used to. It's not referring to something that happened in the past that doesn't happen anymore. All right. After all my sightseeing, I was tired. So right now I'm sitting in an internet cafe. There used to be a small hotel right across the street on the corner. I would sometimes stay there when I came here on business. So that was in the past, I would sometimes stay here. So you can see they did this kind of suggestion that we talked about on the previous page where it says there used to be a small hotel. They started talking about something using used to and then continued with the story um, with would. Okay, let's continue. I would sometimes stay there when I came on business 
Now there's another huge skyscape scraper in its place. So many changes. Prices have changed too. This cup of tea didn't used to cost so much. Wish you were here. I think you would like it, Danya. Great. So feel free to stop, go back and rewatch that. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.